Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Math from Step Two, Chapter Two, Section One, Graphical Representations, Part Two. Just talking about trends in this graph, linear. So an X is positive. You sell more yearbooks, you get more money. Now, last question on the yearbooks. How much does each yearbook cost? Justify your answer. Now you're going. What have we got here? Slope and rate change. So the slope should be the cost of the yearbooks. So let's see now. We have zero, zero, the one point. Where's another nice data point? And when I say nice data point, I mean where the point goes to the grid line, so I know that size will come back about 200. And exactly halfway between 4,000 and 5,000. So 4,006 thousand and that is 200 and 4,000. So slope. Run. What's my rise here? Zero. 5,000. And my run is from zero books to 200 books. Mr. Calculator, 5,000 divided by 200, I believe, is $25. Or $25 per book. So, how much does each yearbook cost? I believe it's $25, which is the slope of the year. Chapter 1, you got enough for chapter 2. Guess what? Just for chapter 1 and 2, you got enough for chapter 3. Anyway, I'll set up for a moment where you guys look at this and double check on that, please. Alright? Good, let's go on. Now, a lot of time for clinical questions. Average hourly wages by job 2007 2008. Yeah, I should update this, I just keep forgetting. If income is a major consideration when making a career choice, which choice might be the most attractive? Well, which one makes the most money? Electrician. And why? What's he making? About 25 an hour. Short print. What's the difference? So the next question, what's the difference between the highest and lowest hourly rate? Justify your answer. Explain why. So what's the highest rate? An electrician is breaking an hour. What's the lowest rate? Looks like a waitress. Oh. 12-ish now? Yes. Let's see. It's not 12 and a half, so if I'd say 12. So what's the difference? No, oh, 25 minus 12 is 13. So I'm going to say 13-ish an hour. And it's because, once again, the graph isn't great for giving exact numbers. It's real good for trends. So it's $13, about $13-ish an hour. Now, next question. Using interpolation, reading between points, approximately how much is the hourly rate for a bookkeeper? Well, the bookkeeper, I don't know, that is what, 16, 16, 15 an hour? I'd say, I'm going to say 16 and a half ish per hour. Mind you, this data is a little old, the numbers would be slightly better. Yes, I should update it, but it's a pain in the bum. I will. Okay. okay, so D. What is the approximate difference in hourly rates between the carpenter and the retail salesperson? Just by your answer. So, between a carpenter and a retail salesperson. The carpenter is here. 
a retail salesperson is height. So that looks to be right on the 1250 line. Now the, tra the carpenter is just a smidge, well, halfway between 20 and 25 to 2250. He's, he or she is just below that. So I'm going to say about 22 now. Once again, if. So what's the difference? Well, grab your calculator. 22 minus 1250. That's about 959. Good. Going to try to pause this. Let me go back and watch it again. Now, last question. Average hourly wages by job. So, line graphs are generally used to represent a trend. However, this graph is used to compare hourly rates for different types of jobs. Suggest a more appropriate type of graph that could be used to display the stack. Okay. So. So what other, uh, what other kind of graphs are there? Compare hourly rates. Is it line graph or trend? What other kind of graphs are there? Well, there's bar graphs, histograms, and graphs. And not ironically, but tomorrow or next lesson, we're talking about bar graphs. That's it for me. If you have any questions, shoot me an email or see me in class. Otherwise, go work on the class work and good luck.